Hello guys and welcome to Witchcraft Criminal History. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well, especially with what's been going on recently. Um, with the COVID-19 mucking everybody up. All the borders are closing, like in my country in Australia. Our borders are closed and even our state's borders are closed. So you can't hop from New South Wales to Queensland. Or vice versa. And a lot of countries are going through a lot of hardship. So it's a very, very hard time. I just find it very, very ironic that um, it's 1920s so and we're pretty much going for a very massive job loss, loss and also back into a very bad recession. It's coming back to, you know, like the Great Depression. But here's the funny thing, we also had the Great Depression in the 1920s. Coincidence? I don't know. But I'll just get it out there. Anyway, this is the monthly um, reading for April. So let's see what April has for you, because March, especially at the end of March, hasn't really been too good. But let's hope that April is going to be a lot better for you. And surprisingly, with the cards that came out today, because I do not see what I'm picking up, um, it was just completely blinded, and Abundance deck came out there, Angels of Abundance by Doreen Virtue. So that one came up, which I thought was rather interesting considering the crisis which is currently happening in the world. So, yeah, so that's one of the decks. Number ones we're doing is The Fairy Forest by Lucy Cavendish and The White Light Oracle by Alana Fairchild. So, yay, those are the decks we're doing. Um, please pause this video around about, you know, right after this and to meditate on what stone calls for you. Whatever crystal calls for you, what stone calls for you, that is a reading for you in the month of April. So, let's get to it. If you chose this crystal, this reading is for you. If you chose this um, crystal, um, everything at the moment is kind of going for ports. So everything is ports. Everything is got pretty much on on hold. And considering what's been going on, we're wondering. So things are definitely going on hold for you in April. So things are put on pause. You're not going forward. You're not going back. And things, and especially probably with your finances. Probably are beginning to feel that they are going down the sinkhole. That money is, you know, going out. You know, that it's flowing out, but it's not flowing in. And your resources are getting lower, lower, and lower. Which is definitely not good. However, that being said, that when that is over, Things are going to improve, and the money which has been flowing out is going to flow back up. You know, it's going to come back. And when it comes back, it's going to come back quite well. It's going to get really, really good. Yes, you're going to have a bit of a hard time at the moment, you know, especially at the beginning of April. But by the end of April, things should start improving. They'll be right at the end of April. Right at the end, not at the beginning. In the beginning, you're losing your money at the beginning of April. All your money is flowing down the sinkhole, pretty much. All of it. And it's at the moment, it's a time to pretty much pause, see what you're uh, thinking about doing, and moving forward. Because this is actually a time for you to reflect on what is the situation. What is really important to you? It's a time for learning. It is definitely a time for learning in regards to your situation. But once you get these things sorted, at the end of April, money will start coming back. But that won't, that won't be until the very end of April, right at the end. Now the last, maybe the last week or even the last couple of days in April where money will start coming in. So you've got a whole few weeks before the end of April. So you've got a lot of problems with that. You had a lot of money and then the money's gone, but it will come back eventually. <laughs> anyway, let's show the cards you guys got. 
you guys got Issa, Magnetism of Eros, Raise or Promotion. Alright, let's see the next set of cards, shall we? If you chose this stone, this reading is for you. I think if you chose um, this crystal, things are a little bit more better than the first one. Not much better, but it is better. Because this one, I think you're in a probably similar situation to what I am. You know, you're doing two jobs. You're doing more than one job to stay afloat. You're doing more than one. But I think you're also a type of person probably going for the month of April. You are seeing all these problems going on in the world. All those problems, people losing their jobs, not knowing whether the next meal is going to come in. You know, queuing for the next six blocks just to get into Centrelink, if you're in Australia. Or for the job agency. Like, you're seeing this and you want to do something about it during April. That you are reaching out to those people who are in need. That you are helping them. So I don't know whether in April you're going to start doing volunteering. That you're starting to think or considering volunteering. That you're becoming a volunteer to help, come you know, help industries out such as you know, the Red Cross, Saint Vincent de Paul's, um, Salvation Army, or something like that. But you're doing something to do with volunteering to help people who are worse off than you, because you don't really like what's happening and you just want to help them out, because. You know, it is a really, really hard time. People are losing their jobs. People got families to feed. And some families, both parents lost their jobs. Because both of them are either, you know, in the hospitality field, the tourism field. Or anything to do with, you know, either with travel or um, where people congregate is affected. And you want to help those people who are, you know, having difficult times. Helping them out, also helping people out, like, who are in the medical field, who are working, 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 trying to get, trying to help stop or slow down the COVID-19. And you're trying to help medical professionals out, whether it's like mowing the lawn or um, taking the dogs for a walk or watering their plants. So they don't have to worry about it. But you're helping out the community regardless. Because you are, you know, during the month of April you've got a lot of compassion. Compassion towards other people. Because you can see what's going on. You're not blind to the issues around you. You're not blind. You see it and it hurts you. And because of that you want to do something about it. So I think this is probably what it means by moonlighting two jobs. You've probably got your own job. You might be also in the medical field, or you're a cleaner, or you do something where your workers keep going. Or you're working from home if you're fortunate to work from home. And you're moonlighting to help other people during the month of April. Which it is, you know, good on you. Alright, let me show you the cards that you guys got. You got moonlighting. Bastard and the merciful one. All right, let's see what the next set of cards got for you, shall we? If you chose this crystal, this reading is for you. Alright, if you chose this crystal, going through the month of April, I think you probably are like the people in the first one, because there seems to be a theme coming up. And that is quiet time, you know, time to reflect on where you're going to go. And considering what's happening, 
it's completely understandable. So going through the month of April, things are not really happening for you. Things have stopped. You probably your income has also stopped. And it's time for you to reflect on what is really important. Cut out what you don't need. Because I think probably prior to this, you know, you probably were um, indulging in things which were, you know, luxuries. But now your, um, you know, your, your um, income supply has been cut. You have to cut out those luxuries. So you have to adapt. Find out what is really important to you. You know, what is really, really important Like, for example, you might have to downsize. Like, for example, if you are in a, let's say, a mansion, you know, because you used to have a big, let's say, cruising company. I'm just saying cruising. Doesn't have to be the big ships, but any cruising. cruising. But because of the downturn, you know, especially with the um, COVID-19, you had to stop that layoff staff. What is more important for you? Trying to keep your business afloat. And to do that, you might have to sacrifice your home. So instead of going for a mansion, go down to a normal house. You know, general size house. So you're downsizing. To try and get some money to coming in. To try and pay for staff. To try and stay stabilised if you can. If you're in the part of the world where you can still operate. If you're in countries like Australia. When you can't do that, then... You're just trying to keep your head out of your head out of the water from other things like insurance and levies and tax threshold, all those things. And you're trying to keep yourself above the water. And you have to make decisions because you need to have time to reflect. Because you, at the moment, have to stop. In April, you must stop. You are stopping. And I think you're probably also not alone in this as well. I think with this, if you have chosen this crystal, I think with you, you are probably with someone. And I think this is not only affecting you, but it's affecting your partner. So this is affecting both of you. I think both of you guys have lost your income. And that's the reason time it's time for you to reflect, to have a quiet time, to find out what you're going to do. Because you're in it together. Two minds are better than one. Because you need to start, you know, planning for the future. Because things have changed. The rug has been pulled from your, from underneath your feet. And now you don't know where to go. You don't know where to go. So you start to, so now is the time for you to start planning planning on what you need to do because you haven't been doing that or you're going to need to do that so yeah that's what you got for this crystal all right let me show you the cards you guys got you guys got quiet retreat B attitude of secret rapture and the fairy norn all right let's see the next set of cards shall we If you chose this crystal, this reading is for you. If you chose this this crystal, I think once again, I think you've probably been having this for quite some time, unlike with the other ones. That you, for trying to find abundance, you are keep chasing it. Chasing abundance. You're chasing the money. But just like a deer in the forest, if you're a hunter, you chasing it, it's just going to keep running off. Instead of chasing it, you should instead stop and allow your prey, which is abundance, to come to you. Instead of chasing it. more you chase, the further it's going to go away. It's always going to be in the future. So you really need to think and plan on how you're going to get that money coming in. Because I think, especially with money, 
It's never been enough for you. Never been enough. And things have gotten worse of late. Things have gotten a lot worse. And you're trying to figure out with um, guidance. You know, you're thinking of what is to come. You need to think of what is to come or where you're going. Because you need to allow the abundance to come to you, not you going to the abundance. Because that is not going to happen if you're chasing after it. You need to allow it to come to you. So, yeah, I'll just see if there's anything else here. I don't think there is. Anyway, the cards you guys got, you guys got abundance mindset. Vasaya of Parvati. And Vulva. All right, let's see the next set of cards, shall we? If you chose this crystal, this reading is for you. If you chose an, um, this um, um, crystal, once again, you know, this downturn isn't good. Because in April, you need to start looking at things or what you're grateful for. Because... A lot of people are doing it very, very hard. They are doing it extremely hard. And I think you've probably been um, having more fortune than other people. You might even currently still have more fortune than other people. And you need to count your blessings. Be thankful for what you have. Not for what you don't have. You need to be thankful for that. Because in the month of April, you need to start thinking of what you need. Allow the universe to know what you need. Not what you want, what you need. You know, you need to release that. You need to allow the universe to know that. And you will get, hopefully, you will get um, things coming in to help you to make your future more fertile. To allow things to grow. To allow your um, money flow to grow instead of having a big downturn, which it has at the moment. Because this is not, this is going to end soon. This COVID-19, it will end. It is not for, you know, it's not forever. It will end. It's just a matter of time. It's a matter of when. And when that time occurs, and it will occur, have those plans in place. Have them in place. And then when this is ended, this hard time for everybody has ended, you can put them into action and allow them to grow. And they will flourish. All right, let me show you the cards you guys got. You got gratitude list. Sacred of, sacrament of extreme unication. And the green man. All right, let's see the next set of cards, shall we? If you chose this crystal, this reading is for you. All right, if you chose this crystal, I think that you two have also definitely probably have lost your job, which isn't too surprising. But this was done on purpose. And I don't mean you definitely lost your job. I mean the COVID-19 threat. You know, this was done on purpose for your own good. I know that that probably sounds not very nice, but... It was done for a purpose. Things happen for a reason, guys. And this is oh so true for anyone who chose this crystal. This was done 
on purpose. That if you have this crystal, you chose this crystal, to say the least, you were targeted. Hey, to say, you were targeted. Because the type of job you were in wasn't serving you any purpose. It wasn't serving you any any purpose. And the fact that it is gone, yes, probably at the moment you're completely lost. You're not quite sure where you're going. But it is there to teach you. It is there to lead you to a better way. And also onto a better job. There is going to be a new job coming for you in April. But this will be at the end of April. And this job what you're going to get is going to be far better for you than it was the, the job you had lost. It's going to be a lot better for you. It's going to be better for you, you know, physically, emotionally and financially. It's going to be more better for you. You're going to really enjoy this new job compared to the other ones. You know, just like a bushfire. You know, when a bushfire comes in, it, you know, destroys everything. But out of the ashes comes new life, new growth. And this is what happens to you. Pretty much, you're the earth and everything's been scorched. But out through the ashes, you know, new growth will come. And that will happen for you. So not to worry. Because when you're doing this, you are, you know, following your instincts. You know, you're following your instincts. And you're probably also a type of person who also is a type of person who probably um, follows a pack. You know, you're a pack person. And when I mean, I know it doesn't really sound too good saying you're a pack person. But a pack and being in a group is something that you probably enjoy. You know, you like being surrounded by people. You love that, being surrounded with people. And there's going to be a job for you. What's going to do with that? Might not be the job you were in, but it will be something different at the end of April. What's well, going to involve a lot of people. So, it, you know, you might have went into hospitality and you're just about to graduate, let's say, nursing. And you're going to really enjoy nursing. And, you know, hospitality was just a way to help you get through uni and all that. Because once, you know, you get through this, you know, these hard times and you get this new job, things will start becoming fertile and th you're going to get opportunity after opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. It's going to go bang, 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 right at the end of April. So, yes, at the beginning of April, it's going to really suck for you. I had to say it. It's going to be a bad time. But the end of April... It's going to be very, very good for you. Very, very good. But you have to wait till the end of April. <laughs> so by the looks of everybody, I think end of April is going to be the better time. Then the beginning of April. All right, let me show you the cards you guys got. You've got employment change. Beta of Spirit Wolf. And Asteroid. All right, if you like this reading and you would like a private reading, go down below and click onto my Etsy channel and book a private reading on there, if you like a private reading. Well, I really hope that everybody has a good time and you're staying safe. I know a lot of people probably are currently um, quarantined and hopefully this is going to give you some entertainment. <laughs> you don't have any further the time, you know, about quarantine. And those of you who work, who have to work for this, I take my hat over to you. You're doing a fantastic job. And no matter what type of job you're in, and you are currently working, like if you're in the medical field like I am, like I'm, you know, I'm a support worker, I, work, I look after people who are aged or disabled. You know, people still need help, and we're there to help. And the same as if you're in the police force, the military, the army, the fire brigade. You guys all do a fantastic job. And keep that work going. Keep that good work going. Alright, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and blessed be.